and friends to my channel. In this episode I'll be making fry bao buns. Let's start cooking. So I have my pork shoulder roast. I am going to cook our pork. So this will be the filling for my fry bao buns. I have to cook the pork until it's nice and tender. I have all the flavors here. I will include everything in the description below. The recipe and everything whether at the beginning of the video or at the end. So I will add our pork to the pan of my instant pot and then I have all the flavorings here. I'll add the garlic, peppercorns, spring onions, onions, bay leaves and salt. I will add some water and then I'll cook it in an instant pot for about an hour on manual setting and then we will come back and um, continue on with the recipe. So this is the first step of the recipe, preparing our meat for the filling. I am adding some of my stock. So this is what I'll use to cook our pork. Yeah, we'll set it to manual setting. Okay, and set the timer for about an hour. And then off we go. Make sure this is set on seal so our pork can cook in the pressure of the, the heat. Okay, our next step, we will prepare our dough for our bao buns. So I have five cups of all-purpose flour here. The rest of in, our ingredients here, I will start adding sugar to our warm milk. Yeah, that's warm enough. So let's add sugar, oil, and our yeast. Okay, we will cover that and let it activate for five minutes. Just put it on the side until it becomes frothy. We will add our baking powder to our flour. The next one is our salt. We are going to mix our flour to make sure that all those ingredients, our salt and baking powder, are all mixed in well with the flour. Just leave that on the side for now and wait for our yeast to be ready and then we'll do the mixing. So our yeast is ready now. We're going to add to the flour and mix it away. It's been sitting for about two hours and it's rising quite well so we are going to transfer it back onto our bench, dust it with some flour. Okay, so I'm rolling it now to about one centimeter thickness and so I'm going to use this size bowl um, to cut my shapes normally there'll be a smaller size this kind and then you'll 
cut you know a few circles around the pastry but this is the size I'm after. I am doing the giant size or bigger size. So I'm gonna go with this one first, cut one circle. So I will go around with my knife, sharp knife, and cut uh, um, and cut it around the bowl. of your dough and roll it in and then just you can roll it again and make more with it or you just let it rice again on the side and then use it for another recipe I am going to use it for another dish but these are the four giant bao buns I'll be making I will bring this back in the middle and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spray the top of these rolls or dough with oil and then I'm going to bend them over like that just like that we'll transfer our bun onto the steamer rack Let's steam these for about 15 minutes and then we'll move on to the next stage. Okay everyone, our bell buns steaming away. We have a few more minutes before we can turn the oven off. Let's quickly check. Look at that. They're giant bell buns. I know the ones that they sell at the shop, they're mini ones, but these are making giant ones. Almost the size, well pretty much the size of the tortilla. So, I'm going to see again, look at that. Close the steamer, let it steam for a few minutes, and then it should be ready. These are our giant bow buns. Look at that, nice and soft try and separate these two. I'm just going to leave it in there for now just to cool it down a little bit more. It's time for us to fry our buns. So it's been steamed and cooled down. See this is the giant one so you can open it. Okay, our oil is ready now. We'll add our bao buns to the frying pan. soft out pork is. Start with those for now. It's time for us to fill up these bad boys. Go with this one. So I made a gravy. I just added some corn flour, oyster sauce to it. But the rest of the flavoring is all from the juice. So I am going to start with the pork. Some of the slaw. A bit more pork. And then we're going to add some of that gravy. And that's it. Our fried bao buns with pulled pork and slaw and a bit of gravy. You can use whatever meat you want. Chicken, fried chicken. If you notice on 
YouTube there's a lot of different filling flavors and variety of bao buns but this is my version my fry giant bao buns all right let's give it a taste and see what it tastes like mm. this is so cool Nice. And the pork is nice too. Mm. The gravy. Yeah. I hope you give this recipe a try if you want a fry version of bao buns and a giant size as well. The normal bao buns are smaller size but this is a big size. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this episode with your families and friends. I will catch up with you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.